One important uh, point is that what, um, what we have uh, found here is that uh, a new set of mechanisms that have never really been taken advantage of um, in a therapeutic way. So although this is very early and we're still in a research um, stage, it opens up a whole new set of, set of possibilities, not for people who are just um, injured, but those that have been m injured for months or years. Uh, the other important aspect of this is that one of the, uh, you know, not being able to walk and stand is obviously devastating, but there's many other aspects uh, of, of an injury um, that result in, in a lot of suffering by people. And that is just no things that we normally take for granted. Um, being able to regulate our temperature, being able to um, go to the bathroom when we want to go to the bathroom and having control over that. Breathing, um, heart function, all those things are impacted uh, by a spinal cord injury. Some from the injury itself, but probably most uh, because uh, they're not standing or walking. They're just sitting in a chair. And if you just sat in a chair for years and years, your health would deteriorate as well. So this, as Reggie said, this is not a cure and Rob's not walking. I mean, that's, that was, that's what we're trying to understand and that's what we're re working towards. But this, uh, what we've observed with Rob is that short of that, um, this approach may have um, impact in incremental ways. Uh, allowing people to just stand a few minutes a day can dramatically change their health. Uh, being able to take a few steps versus not taking any steps. So I'd encourage people to think about this um, really in an incremental way, that we now have new knowledge that we can take advantage of and that we can um, uh, uh, hopefully soon um, uh, prov have an opportunity to provide to people. And I just want to reiterate what Reggie said. Um, the, the aspect of rehabilitation. I think rehabilitation is so um, under uh, um, uh, recognized in the United States and we've gotten away from rehabilitation, but the nervous system can change and it can change by practice of tasks over and over again, even without the epidural stimulation. Rehabilitation for people with paralysis is critical and important through their entire life. And for the people who are most severely injured with Rob, there's adjunct things that we can do to take care of these properties. Um, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, uh, leave it at that.